Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 3 building video. We're continuing on King Tower, which if you haven't seen part one, I explained what we're doing. We're recreating uh, one of the buildings from the Herbs Sims in the City Nintendo DS game, uh, where we did a whole Let's Play of that recently, which you can watch back on the channel. There's like nine parts and multiple hours of content to watch that I would highly recommend because it's great. But basically, uh, the tower in the game, we have a two, we own a two-story penthouse that we furnished with ridiculous items and we're just trying to recreate that so and there's also there's five different floors there's a lobby there's the executive office there's the law office there's a two-story penthouse there's the rooftop there's actually a, a basement gym as well and this is part two not done in part two but we do finish off the penthouse and also the law office i think yeah we don't do the executive office but we do the law office uh so we're just doing the uh penthouse at the moment the lower floor so last time we did that weird little games room with the arcade machine now we're doing the living room, which has a two-seater sofa. A The item on the left there, which is actually a stereo, is a DJ machine in the Herbs game. But the DJ like machines in The Sims 3 are way too big. So we just substitute it for something that looks similar. And right here, we're just trying to find some similar wall art to put up there as well. Now, I did do this live over on Twitch uh, as a live stream. It was like a three and a half hour live stream. So if you do want to watch that, I will link it down below. You can watch the whole thing back in real time. We have a bit of fun. We have a laugh, have some bants. So if you're into that, you can go watch that as well. I would recommend following me on Twitch uh, because I've been doing a lot of live streams recently of a lot of different things. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I also typically will announce my live stream over on Twitter. So I would recommend following me on Twitter. Uh, that's a great place or Instagram Instagram's pretty good too uh, but I will always pretty much I think 99% of the time announce a stream over on Twitter if I don't announce it on YouTube that is I sometimes announce it here on YouTube but not always because it depends what kind of stream it is anyway now that's out of the way uh, so oddly here so this this penthouse actually has two elevators because the building has two elevators it has two entrances uh, and in the herbs game I had a two by two table with a microwave sitting on it in that room because of reasons I don't know why it was just there so we're recreating it uh, unfortunately you can't actually put microwaves on tables in the sims 3 so we we didn't in the end which is kind of sad uh, we're trying to find a, a weird little statue to put in the corner because we had a golden statue that had like a little spindly bit on the top and we, we found that mouth sculpture to be accurate so we put that in there as well and it has the same rug as the other entrance and i actually had some unpaid bills that were lying on the floor so i was like you know what let's um let's put some bills on the floor like they, they sit on the floor just here at the entrance uh we're trying to find something to use for it and then someone suggested uh the dog toy newspaper which is actually uh, a good suggestion because it, oddly oddly enough that uh, the rugs in sims 3 they when you place items on it they sink through it like a lot of the items and you can't see them and i was like oh because i would have just used a stack of magazines which i tried to do it at the start which you may have seen but uh didn't work it uh, sat below the rug um now in the corner here we actually had a candy cane that i was i was trying to find i, I could have sworn that sims 3 had a candy cane maybe as a store item um or maybe i'm making it up it must have been it must be like some christmas like store item or something right surely it would have existed uh right so for the kitchen we had a double wide uh, stove in the game and then we had like a barbecue grill kind of thing but i don't know if it was a grill it might have been another stove i'm not sure it was really hard to tell but the thing is if you watch back the live stream you can see all of our thinking process and in the live stream we actually swap over to the nintendo ds game for comparison so we can sort of see what we're doing as we're doing it um so a lot of this might look ridiculous to you and you're like, why are you doing this? Like, why am I putting green lines in the floor with fencing? Well, uh, in the DS game, it has yellow floor with green lines going through just like that for reasons that are unknown. Uh, <laughs> so that's why we're doing it. And we sort of compare it all on uh, the on the stream there. And it kind of has like some sort of rice paper wall looking thing behind the kitchen. So we're trying to recreate that as best we can with that kind of texture. And all the windows in the DS game, which I'm assuming they're windows. Uh, that's what we assumed when we we're building them, that they're windows. But they all look just like rice paper doors or windows, which is kind of weird because it's kind of going to the outside of the building or at least we think it is um so yeah anyway here we had a mask in the game like kind of like a carnivale mask that had like a lot of colorful feathers coming out of it this was the closest we could get to that is this weird little sun mask with the strange patterns on it that we played around with colors for so long to try and make it look okay uh i just i don't know i i remember distinctly spending a lot of time on this and this is sped up by about eight point 
four times, 8.5 times this whole this whole video. So cell press is going 8.5 times quicker. So if something takes me long in this, it took me long a long, long time on the live stream. But anyway, I think we've just finished with the downstairs of the penthouse, which is great. That's why I'm putting all these sort of debug lights in. So when you go into live mode, all those lights disappear and it's just lit up because in the game, uh, there's not really any visible lights. Uh, so that's why we just use those instead. Um, also, you may have just caught uh, a reference to hashtag the wave is real less. So that's hidden away in the building. <laughs> Those that are long enough, been around long enough to remember that. That's a classic. Uh, now, the upstairs is almost a completely different... No, I wouldn't say completely different, but it's a very, it's a different vibe. Like the colors are different, the flooring is darker, um, and we played around a long time trying to get all that right. And you will absolutely see this, unless I, I think there was, I think I might have cut some of it out, but I think most of it's here. So we're trying to get absolutely everything as close as possible within reason, because a lot of well, here's the thing: a lot of the stuff just isn't possible to do in The Sims Three, just because the item doesn't exist, the fence doesn't exist, or something like that. Um, but we we get it as close as possible, and I think. I think we do a pretty good job. Like, I, I think if I showed someone this that had played the herbs and they like, if as long as they knew what the building looked like in the game, in the herbs, and then I was like, hey, what do you reckon this building looks like? They'd be like, herbs, king tower, got it. You know, like they, they, they would know. That, that's really all we're going for. <laughs> just just to, so they can recognize it. Like the stairs here in The Sims 3, uh, kind of nothing like what it looks like in the game. Just because, again, we, we can't, we can't get it accurately. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen, okay? Uh, still playing around with the floor, trying to get the colors right, trying to trying to make it look similar to what it does. And you can see I still haven't got it right. Uh, and I, I think I might even change again. I don't even know if that's the final... Oh, we went out to the map and saved, but it's fine. We're back. We're back. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So uh, now there's actually a little... In, like, it was the same thing in the lobby. In the, I, I think I might have mentioned this in the previous build video, is that in the lobby, uh, the, we actually have these little indentations that go back into the wall. And we didn't do this on the lobby floor. And I, I don't remember the reason, I think, because it, it didn't line up very well with all the stage tool and that. But up here, we're able to do it. So these are actually... These plants that we have here are actually set back into the wall uh, in the game. And then there's stuff in front of it. So that's something that thankfully we could actually do up here, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, one thing that uh, we noticed very quickly whilst furnishing a lot of this stuff is the scale of items is very different in, in The Sims 3 and The Herbs, which I'm not surprised by. Uh, like a lot of the stuff will either be, I think I, I think the, the space in this, in The Sims 3 is uh, all the items are bigger like there's a bigger, or that we, the, just the scale is this uh, smaller in the Sims story. Like there, there's so much more space in the herbs, like between stuff. I mean, because look, there's no, there is a grid in the herbs, like when you place an item, like when you put it down. But obviously, it's not a, a complete accurate grid from the Sims, like Sims Three or whatever, or Sims Two, or the Sims One. It would have been at the time. Oh, Sims Two. No, Sims 1 would have been out when the herbs came out. Um, that bear on the ball, like, so in the, in the herbs game right there where that bear is, we have a taxidermized alien statue that stands there. Um, and that bear was the closest thing we could get to it, so we called it the Balian, which we thought was kind of cool. And that robot is supposed to represent the robotic monkey butler that we own in the herbs. Uh, that's what that is. And then the statue is just representing like a thinking David statue because that was kind of the closest looking thing we could get. Uh, so just to explain those items that are there, like 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 I said, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Like all this stuff is a bit weird for The Sims Three. I don't think this place would be. Oh, and we have a vending machine. Of course, we have a vending machine. I don't think this place would be particularly playable um, because a lot of the stuff is a bit weird. I th I would like like for example that computer we put in in the herbs. Computers don't need chairs, so there's no chair there. We didn't put one in. Um, I'd like to see how much of this is actually pl like a playable functional lot when it's done, you know, like uh, if you could actually live here. I think like you can use most, you can get snacks from the, the, the fridge and that, but there's no counter space to chop up food or anything like that. Um, there, there is a bed, there's bathrooms and all that, so you could live here. Now the bathroom, this one's kind of interesting because it had a, a lot of different colors to the tiles uh, in, in the herbs. And we were trying to figure out how to do it because it had almost four... Um, different colors going around in a loop. And, and then I thought, oh, hang on, we could use a rug to sort of get the central section of it by using uh, a different pattern. So we can get sort of center bit there. And then it sort of had like a yellow ring. And then and then I thought we could even use another rug to get the, like the next layer on, uh, which I think was like a, almost like a black, but it was like a really dark turquoise kind of color. 
And then it goes to the light turquoise around the outside of it, which is kind of cool. So then we sort of just laid them together like that. And it's a, it's a similar visual of, uh, and colors to what it is in the herbs. Obviously, not exactly the same. Also, as you can see, it doesn't exactly perfectly line up because they're rugs and rugs stack weirdly. And also, a lot of the showers, when we place them on the rug, like the rug would go through the shower, which I found really strange that it does that in this game. I don't think it does that. I, think, I feel like they fixed that in The Sims 4. But Sims 3, rugs are definitely interesting. Now, this bathroom is also a pretty big challenge, and you'll probably see us spend quite a bit of time on this. I'm going to assume it's going to take us a while in the, the sped up version, because real time, it took ages. Like the wall, the reason it took so long is this wall behind the sink is actually really, really detailed uh, in the herbs for whatever reason. And I wanted to get it as close as we possibly could, so we're trying to find items to represent certain parts of it and, and um, try and recreate it. Which I think is one of the one of the interesting challenges about this rec like recreation is trying to figure out how we can make it look like it does in the game with what we have available in The Sims 3. Because obviously they can do whatever they want on the herbs because you can't change it. So it's just like an image that they put in and it looks good. But then we're trying to figure out how to do it using items in The Sims 3. Uh, so it's got like all these like shelves in there that are sort of put together. Uh, I mean, you'll see it all come together here. It'll take me a while to do it. I'm using these columns and sort of putting them together. Like there's, there's all these like wall trims and decals and all this kind of crazy stuff in the herbs that we just don't have in The Sims 3. So I'm trying to create it myself using uh, the columns. Uh, and then the sink as well. I, I found out that sinks can't, well, at least the wall sink can't be placed off the grid. Uh, they can go like, uh, half tiles, but you couldn't you can't hold down alt and sort of freely place a sink Which is kind of annoying. So the sinks not exactly where I wanted it to be It needed to be a little bit more to the left and even more off-center than it already is just to, to sort of fit in the space um, and then also we had the, so behind the sink, there's supposed to be like a utility panel, um, which is where in the game you would sort of upgrade your burglar alarm, you would uh, buy double pane windows and all that to reduce your bills and all that kind of stuff. So I guess at the end of the day, the, the burglar alarm was the best thing that we could find to put there because most of the other stuff either looked stupid or was just not the right size or we couldn't get it to fit properly. Uh, and then there was also a really cool mural uh, in, in the herbs that was here on the left and... Uh, I mean, this looks nothing like the mural, but it looks cool, and we made it gold because it's gold in the game as well. So, I actually really like that sort of lizardy wallpaper thing. That looks awesome, and I don't think I've ever used it before. At least I don't recall using it. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's that. So this now uh, we're using these tiles to create the hallway rugs because it's a so it's a huge L-shaped rug. You'll see as I put it in that goes around the corner and around the hallway and sort of wraps around. So I thought using these floor tiles would allow us to sort of actually make it look pretty similar to what it is in the game. It's this big rug that looks just like this. Uh, whether it's a rug or carpeting in the game, I don't know. But that's that's what it looks like and we use that. Um, the, the only problem, and you can see it here, is you can, you can it's got that little seam that runs down the middle, which is kind of annoying, but there's nothing we can do about that. Which is a bit unfortunate. Now, when we were doing the bedroom, uh, here's where we realized a really big scaling issue. The bed and the herbs is either way smaller or the room is way bigger because it doesn't make any sense in The Sims 3. Like, it's just taking up way too much space. But also, the uh, the bedrooms <laughs> are really empty because they were really empty in our herbs game. But we pretty much now have the uh, two-story penthouse done. I think we need, uh, I think it was just a stereo in that room that we had, and that was it. It was that bed and the stereo, and that was all that was there, and that was pretty much it. Oh, actually, that wall, yeah, this wall had, um, yeah, like a rice paper looking wall, and it had these really nice uh, silhouetted tree sort of decals on it as well, which looked really, really nice, but there was, as far as I was aware, I couldn't find anything that quite looked like it in The Sims 3. I know The Sims 4 would have been perfect for that, like it has those trees. Um, there are those tree decals that are actually height charts from, I believe, Generations. And you'll see that I tried to use one of those, but it, it still leaves a bit of color, which is kind of annoying because if it didn't have the color on it, it would have worked just fine. I think it's going to be coming up in just a second here now as I try to go find... Yeah, that. See, this would have been really cool to use that, but it leaves all the color of the birdhouse and the little bird. But if it all went if it all went black, it would have been fine. But we tried. I think in the end, I, can't, I, think in the end I just left it blank. I was just like, that's fine. It's just a sort of a nice detailed little wall that we have going on there. Uh, and then we've got a few more of those little sort of decal, not decals, little details down there. And we realized we forgot a, there was actually a big stuffed uh, teddy bear. I think, oh no, a big stuffed monkey or something like that sitting in this corner. Um, and so instead we've got this weird creepy doll that sits there, like a really scary doll, because that was 
I thought it was kind of funny. All right, so this level here is the uh, executive office level, which we don't completely furnish or anything, but we do the hallway. So uh, here we're trying to match the flooring to what it is in the game, which it's uh, the, the pattern is slightly different, but it's, uh, it's similar enough that it, it makes sense and we get all the colors just right as well. So it has a big hallway that looks like this with those sort of marble tiles. Uh, and then we're trying to match up the wallpaper as well. Which once we did this was kind of kind of handy because it, uh, it's the same as the, the level down below. So once we did this one, we could just copy it straight down and that was no problem at all. Uh, but there you go, just changing it around. Ah, oh, look at that, it looks beautiful. Look at this king tower. And then there's also this huge wooden door there as well, which is kind of cool. So we're sort of just adjusting this because it was a little bit off. Like it's kind of weird, like some of the... Um, I mean, yeah, it's, look, it's never going to be one-to-one, -one, but some of the stuff is kind of weird around here, so we just sort of played around with it a little bit, and uh, look at that. That door is actually pretty similar to what it is in the game, too, which I, I like. Uh, and then just using those invisible lights again, and then this floor is exactly the same, which was kind of handy, because that means we didn't have to play around with colors again. But this one, so this one is the law office level, and it has, like, the, the janitor's utility closet area as well, which you can see the top left just there, like this bit here. I forgot, as you can see, I forgot to hit record for a bit, so he's jumped forward a little bit there, but that's fine. Uh, just put some gray tiles in on the floor and some gray walling. So this is, uh, yeah, just basically a big desk and lots of shelving is this room in the herb, so that's what we're trying to do. Uh, so we use this desk from Fast Lane stuff that actually has all of the drills and spanners on it, which was actually suggested by someone in the Twitch chat, which was really helpful, which is why I think it's really good to do this stuff live, because it's like... Especially because I haven't played Sims 3 in ages. Like, it took me so long to find stuff and just and just figure out how to do stuff in the game again, you know, to find things. Um, but yeah, so we're using these little shelves to sort of detail it a little bit. Uh, and then I think we ended up leaving it there because that, that looked pretty busy enough. I thought that was quite good. I don't know if I got that last one in, but um, that was fine. And then, was a, then we also had a weird little TV there in the Herbs game. So it was like, we just put that there. Um, it's like a little red TV or something like that. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Just sits around the corner. That's pretty much all that's there. Then there's a whole bunch of little plants. Uh, in, well, not little. A uh, whole bunch of sizable plants in this hallway. Just sort of detailing it around the place, just like that. And then we sort of move into the uh, the law office, where the lawyer works. Which, what's her name again? Um, oh, no, it's going to annoy me. I can't remember her name. Damn, I can't remember the name of the lawyer in Herbs. Oh, well, anyway, so yeah, the, the back of this building, because in the, in the law office in the game, it has those bay windows there that sort of go out diagonally like that. And I was saying uh, the, back of, the back of this building is going to look so bad, like, because it has so many different window types and it's going to be awful. Um, and we also spent ages here trying to choose the right flooring that uh, actually suited, uh, because it's basically the same, well, it's similar to the, the flooring in the hallway, but about twice the scale. So like if you just double the size of it. So instead of a one by one pattern, it was like a two by two pattern in the herbs. And that's kind of what we're trying to find. I think I looked around for a while. In the end, I, I think I ended up settling for using the same tiles that we did for the the sort of hallway runner in the two story penthouse. And then we use that for this instead, which I think actually worked out pretty well. Uh, so you can see that I think I just cut all that out because it took me ages to do it. Um, so yeah, we just did that instead. So it's a similar pattern. It, was a, it is a slightly different color in the game as well. So I did make it slightly different uh, in the Sims 3 here. And then it has the same colored rug as, or same patterned rug as the one that we have in the hallways. So that's what we did just there. And then it has a beautiful blue carpet there. Like, I don't know who chose this color scheme, but uh, you know what, it's what they went with. So. Can't, can't complain. And then there's this huge desk here as well, which again, I spent ages trying to do and trying to get it right because, well, we found out very quickly that you can't put computers on counters in The Sims 3. So then we actually had to end up using a desk, but the desk didn't have a backing. And then I had to find an item to close off the desk. And it was just, it was, you know, it's a, it a big old deal. It was, it, was a whole, it was a whole thing that we had to deal with and figure out, but we got there in the end, although... What I found out when I went to take screenshots just before is that the item, well, you'll see me do it in a second. So I tried to use a third desk to sort of close it in, but it didn't really work because um, it was just too glitchy. So here we're just trying to find an item to fill in the gap. That one was too visually glitchy. Coffee table, end tables are slightly too tall. If they were a tiny bit shorter, it would be fine. So that didn't really work. Then we found this little, uh, this little number here. Uh, which was, I thought was really good. And it looked good and sort of blocked it off really, really nicely. Did not realize until we went into live mode that it actually spawns a couple of mannequins standing there. So when I loaded it up, there's two mannequins standing on the desk and I was like, oh, 
Well, that's probably not going to work very well. So we'll have to change those for something else, but uh, that's all right. Uh, so nice big blue lounge chair that sits there behind the desk, which again, renders the computer useless. So you can't use either computer on this lot yet just because that's the way it is. Uh, and then we have a nice couch and some a nice big wardrobe there. And the wardrobe in the herbs is actually blocking a window like I've done there. I've not done that on purpose. Like I've not done that like saying, hey, that would be a good idea. Let's put a big wardrobe there. It's just how it is in the herbs for some reason they decided they wanted to block off the bay window that they have there i don't know why but it is uh anyway so a whole bunch of books go down there and like there's all these bookcases below the windows and then we what we believe to be a fireplace was there i'm not actually sure that it was a fireplace but it, it kind of looked like one so that's what we used it for and then we were just doing the uh, wallpaper as well, just to finish off the executive law office. And that's that. And it looks beautiful. So it had actually a very similar brick to what we had upstairs too. And I think I, I don't, I think I need to change the color of the fireplace. But anyway, here are the screenshots. I did them in a sort of uh, an isometric way. So you can see it's kind of look, kind of looks like, you know, Sims 1-y. When, if you basically move really far away and zoom in with the camera, it sort of flattens it out like that. Uh, I did it like this so you can sort of compare it to, you know, how it looks in the herbs. That's the idea. Uh, so those are all the flaws that we've done so far uh but i hope you enjoyed this part we'll be back with more king tower soon uh make sure to follow me on twitch because we'll be streaming the next part of it as well but i hope you enjoyed it um yeah so there you go leave any comments suggestions or feedback you have down below make sure to subscribe if you haven't already watch more videos on the screen right now thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time and have an awesome day